We'll have to make the character class, and the next knot we're going to take is the fisherman's knot. The fisherman's knot is used to tie two ropes of unequal size type class. This is the one that you want to use the most uh, out of when you're in emergency and you're just scraping together ropes. You don't know where it's going to come from, you know, what you're going to be able to do. And if you are leaning towards a square knot, always remember, a square knot is one that you would tie two ropes of the same size, class, and type. So the fisherman's knot is something you're going to probably really want to master. Now having that, it's a little more difficult. It's sort of considered an advanced knot, and that's why we're going to do it early so you guys can practice it. Now, when I do the fisherman's knot, I make sure that I have a lot, a lot more ends to work with. So I'll give myself two or three feet because we will tie it off with a half hitch. Now on a fisherman's knot, the first thing we do is we put one rope over the other. And if you know what to do, I'm putting my, take, take my thumb out, in this case, my left thumb, and I'm simply going to wrap it towards and then away from me, towards and then away from me. Then I'm going to cross it towards my hand one more time, forming a X. Now notice, I'm, you have to be handsy. You have to hold on to, to your work. So my, my, I'm going to hold on to it. I'm going to eliminate my thumb. And before that hole closes, I'm going to put this rope through. Then I'm going to tighten it down. And my check on my system is an X with two parallel ropes. I'm going to do the same thing the other side. I'm going to repeat it. Now remember, Notice I flip it, because I'm always working with the rope. The rope always starts at the bottom. If not, then the knot's never going to come together correctly. So once again, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to bring it towards me. Then I'm going to bring it towards my hand, making that X. I'm going to get handsy and hold it. And then I'm going to put it through. And then I'm going to tighten it down. I got to get it handsy again and tighten it down. Now notice I've got two of these, these bites. And I'm going to simply bring it together. When I bring it together, on one side I get four parallel uh, bites, if you will. On the other side I get two X's. Notice the X's are snug. If they're not snug, if they're maybe facing opposite, that means somewhere along the knots you didn't cross it correctly or you didn't turn over your... A working end like I did. Now this, the final portion is to go ahead and do half hitches. Remember go always go around your running ends and get handsy with it and do the same for your other side. And that is a fisherman's knot with two half hitches. And that's what you want to do. Now I'll show it to you one more time from the side angle so you can see what we got to do. And remember, this knot is to tie ropes of unequal type class length, or not just length, but the size of the rope. So ropes that just simply don't go together is what you want to use with this one. And it will secure it. Um, in class, I will demonstrate of having already to you what happens when you use a square knot to tie ropes that are not the same. Uh, and and they, they do come undone, just the way it is. Now, Again, I give myself maybe two or three feet on this. Okay, and I simply bring one over the other. Okay, I'm always working on the bottom. So I take the first one and I put my thumb out and I wrap it towards me and then away. And then I'm going to do it one more time. But this time I'm going to head towards my hand, making that X. I'm going to hold it with my hand, get handsy with it. Bring it through, then you gotta have to tighten it down, with your hands, work it, and then flip it over. Okay, once again, this is on the bottom, this is on the top, so that working side. Do it again, same process. Bring it through. Get handsy with it, tighten her down, and then bring the two together. Your check, your system check is the, those two inter, interlock, those two X's. And then you have four running at the same time. Then finish it up with two half inches. Again, make sure you go around that running end of the rope. Get handsy with it, bring it down, and do the other side. Bring that down as well. 
That is a fisherman's knot with two half hitches. We'll see you on the high ground.